Welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mecha Draven. This is our next viewer submitted donation deck. This is a deck from Teal Red, another content creator, but we had a, a viewer one to see it over here and submit it as a donation deck. It looks really, really cool. So basically what we have here is we have a deck built around spells because we have um, some of these bots. All right, so that's why we're kind of calling it Mecha, because we're playing these bots. We got Ballistic Bot that's going to be creating spells each round. But then we have Assembly Bot getting the plus one, plus one each time we, we cast a spell. And we also have the Plaza Guardian that once we've played 10 spells, it's free. But, you know, it has their cost reduction for each, each spell that you play. Um, Plaza Guardian's a pretty good card. You know, 6-6 six, six Quick Attack is nothing to sneeze at. And we've seen with, like, Wiggly Burblefish how it's not that difficult to play a lot of spells. Um, so yeah, this Plaza Guardian, hopefully we can, we can play 10 spells, get this thing to cost zero. We are also playing a spicy one here with Shunpo, where if we can get like zero mana Plaza Guardians out, we can Shunpo and Rally and be able to attack with them again. And maybe, you know, maybe at that point we're making some very large assembly bots. All right, so we're going to want some zero mana spells. Draven creates the Spinning Axes, which cost zero. We also have zero mana Poro Cannon. Um, so we have a couple of ways there to... Uh, you know, have zero mana spells that they do need to discard but we also have this new card stress testing which is a perfect card to discard because then we get to draw an extra fleeting card so we can kind of have some card advantage like that we also got rummage uh doing its thing we'll have the created cards the ignitions they'll be good to discard lots of cool stuff in here i've been really happy with death ray for interaction recently so we got as far as interaction goes we have three mystic shot we got a death ray and get excited to discard some cards and then a tribeam and probulator and so having like these kind of spicy one ofs like tribeam and probulator augmented experimenter these kind of cards are are really good in this type of list because some games you'll have tribeam and probulator in your opener and you'll play like these three mana cards and your probulator is going to be awesome other games you're going to draw in probulator late you've already played like your three mana cards and it's not going to look very good but with this kind of list, since we have all these cards like Spinning Axe and Poro Cannon and Rummage, we have ways to discard it. If we just draw the Improbulator late and we don't need it, we can discard it with one of our discard outlets. So I think that's a, a really cool card to have like as a one of in this. It's not like we're built around it, but it has it it's a it's a high variance card, right? It has a lot of potential to, to be it has potential to be incredible, but there's also potential that it's you know, pretty poor card if it's only dealing like one or two damage. All right, but anyway, let's get to it. Let's try this Mecha Draven list. We'll go play five games in rank. Nice, glad to hear that, Nasher. Just got your stimulus check. Awesome, I, got, I think I got mine like last week. I don't really see anything to get rid of in our opener. Looks like a pretty good one. The Poros that we create from Poro Cannon will be created cards for the Augment with Ballistic Bot. So I could have saved two life and kept that from happening, but I didn't really want to discard any of these to the Poro Cannon. It's a good cooling strike metagame right now with Azir, Maokai, Lee Sin. Got some popular targets for that. Pill Cascade test. All right, they had it. But I think it's worth using that Culling Strike here because um, the gems from the Mountain Goat are really useful. And I like not, I wanted to not let them get them for free. So I did have, um, they did have the Pill Cascade, unfortunately, but they don't just get, um, you know, they didn't get just a free gem. And obviously our bot is just too valuable to try to trade. Watch 
and learn. Time for the money makers. All right, so we'll have halfway leveled up Draven. You leave me no recourse. Considering casting Shunpo, steal two to a goat. No. That was just a waste of that, wasn't it? Well, I guess. So one goat pulls them. Not good. Not good at all. Like, this is a poor shun poke, so I don't even want to rally. I was gonna say. Good card. I get to play that this turn. That's good. And we're almost made this Plaza Guardian three to turn on <laughs> with the Improbulator also. Gems are nice. Find your path in the dark and follow no false light. Embrace the light. You know, like trying Plaza Guardian Reckoning, that's not going to work. Moonlight, guide me. Okay, nice little 2 2 lifesteal. We're a little ways away from turning into a 6 6 lifesteal, but that could be really nice as a 6 6 lifesteal. But I think I probably have to, like, you know, they attack with Doom Beast, so I think I need to block with the Awakener. Oh, come on, really? So they could have used that, like, so this was the, you know, Diana's Pale Cascades. So they could have used that to save their other Diana, but they just chose to play the new one, which makes sense. You just gotta worry about this Diana growing to be more than five power with Reckoning. Oh, well.
Good hand opponent. GG's. Okay, Demacia Targon. Mulligan, Mulligan. Assembly Bot has a lot of potential. It's not my favorite thing against Screeching Dragon. Okay. I like this more. I wanted to look for... You know, I was worried about turn one Zoe, you know, like keeping that stuff. They go turn one Zoe, like we're kind of dead. So I wanted to find the Death Ray for turn one Zoe. We at least have Mystic Shot, which is a little too slow for turn one Zoe, but... Closer. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. We were forged in dragon fire. That is so gross. Prime and ready. That is so gross. We also know they have like a screeching dragon in hand. Witness perfection, meat bags. Gosh. Well, that's quite a one, two, three. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Can you improve perfection? The Mountain Goat metagame. There's the card I cannot beat. That's a curve right there. And they save save the two spell mana after the Mountain Goat for like Sharp Sight and Single Combat. Nice deck opponent. Nice deck. Strength in numbers. Oh, I sh should probably Mystic Shot this goat. I want to see if they use Sharp Sight there, but I guess I probably should have just Mystic Shot the goat. No, maybe it's good to keep it. They draw like a Zoe. It's probably good to keep it. I am the traveler. Sunlight guiding my brethren. So yeah, they're dealing four to the assembly bot. Yeah, those were the best cards for <laughs> for Solar Priestess to see, but we could only take one. But yeah, the the two six mana cards and Traveler, those are like the best cards. Axes coming right up. Okay, so they got one gem. And seven other cards. It's quite the card. So, like, how do I beat a really soul next turn? I don't know if I can. I'm not sure about. Could have taken Fallen Comet 
instead of Traveler, but I thought I was going to need the card advantage, but, you know, then we got this thing. Maybe they don't just have Aurelian Soul. Maybe they don't just have the Perfects. Is that possible? We definitely have to be the aggressor. So even though that kills my Draven, you know, it's basically like me trading the trading the Draven for the goat. Believe or burn. Wow. That is bad. Well. We had fun. Okay, it's not Targon. I'm happy about that. They're gonna play some some large stuff, but again, I'm just very happy we're not playing against Targon. So bot and flash of brilliance is a little slow. I have the attack token turn three. Alright, I'm in there. I'm guessing that I'm gonna get some card that I don't care about with the flash of brilliance, and so that we're, we're gonna rummage the card away. And so getting another Flash of Brilliance is nice. That was a perfect Tri-Beam and Probulator draw. What were you barking at over there? Alright. Alright, so I'm going to have them waste their mana. Pretty cool looking hand here. Another shampoo. Five drop. All right, get a nice, healthy attack in here, and then Shunpo, and then attack again. As healthy as I would like. 6-6 six, six quick attack and then Shunpo next turn. Or Draven set up Legion Marauders. I have the best job. It's kinda like that. We don't have to Shunpo right away. I like Draven set up Legion Marauders. Get some Marauders in my Shunpo action. You own what you take. All right, see you, Draven. You did good. I am very surprised they are going after Draven and not and after the Assembly Bot, but we would have been able to save the Assembly Bot. I guess that's what they're thinking, is that all we needed was two spells to keep it alive. And that is the case. Work? No, it doesn't work. 
That's lame. Please don't concede, opponent. Please don't concede. Don't concede. Don't concede. Let me do my thing. There we go. Mecha Draven. All right. That was cool. There we go. That's our deck. That's what we're trying to do here. That was sweet. Good day today. Ooh, playing some aggro. Are we going to be able to stay alive? Alright, so we got Get Excited and Draven. I kind of feel like maybe we need more of the the Death Ray. Right? Like that... Like both games that we lost, Death Ray would have been really nice to have, and even here too. I feel like Death Ray is really good in this metagame. A bunch of cheap things that Death Ray kills, and then just two two mana deal two, and then three mana deal three, both very efficient and effective. Me. Thought about taking the 3-2, the copying their 3-2. That Grenadier. Maybe just one Chun-Po. Another Death Ray. There's probably not any games where you need two Chun-Pos. And our deck already does a very good job of... Spinning axe. Our deck already does a, a really good job of um, drawing a lot of cards and filtering through the deck, so we can probably find the one Shunpo we need. So I can see Shunpo being a one of. That's why I didn't discard the stress testing, because I wasn't going to want the fleeting card, because I wanted to do that. Just costs so much mana. Because if I go Shumpo and then they go Misfortune, we're in trouble. They could also go Fervor. I could play Shumpo, they play Fervor, kill my Draven. What are you waiting for? That's unfortunate. No prey, no pay. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Tar to get rich. Clear it out. Captain's orders. Bullet. Who's that you got there? This is gonna hurt for you. Sorry, Draven. I guess I could have just. I guess I could have spinning axed. Just to play it to get get another spell, but. So I didn't play these Flash of Brilliances right there because of. Um. Because of Tribeam and Probulator, we could have top decked and Probulator and then a Flash of Brilliance, but now I can just go Flash and see what's up. Because it's possible we draw Marauders. I say it's possible we get like the seven mana deal, deal three, deal two, deal one. True Shot Barrage. Promises you can't keep, little girl. 
The dead don't need riches. Now we're cooking. I know I could try to wait for them to block with the Gangplank first, but I, I want to level up Draven. I know they could just fervor and kill my Draven. But... Cool. And I thought I was already perfect. <laughs> Lame. So it definitely looks like I should have just passed turn whenever you know I played my spells, they passed me. I, I cast the Draven right and then they that's when they played Gang Clank and But I don't know. Finger on the trigger. Time for violence. Hang them by their entrails. Fight. This is gonna hurt for you. Hey, buddy, what you doing? This is oh. gonna hurt. The best I can do is zero. It's a game player. I'm gonna keep this. Hello. See, our shunt were just a little too awkward there that last game. Could have definitely used a death ray over one of them. I think death ray is probably pretty awesome these days. All three of our losses, Death Ray would have been really, really good to have. You know, we were dying, like, they were playing, like, turn one flight, turn one Zoe. Um, Time for the main event. All that kind of stuff. And uh, then, you know, obviously our last opponent with all those, you know, being the aggro deck with all those aggro cards. Obviously. Right, assembly bot. What do you got for me? What am I doing? Play the assembly bot first. Also, maybe I shouldn't just kill that immediately. So what are they going to do? Play Gangplank next turn? Because if I kill it, then they get to play another Twisted Fate. Alright, so Plaza Guardian's basically already there. I do have to cast this. Get excited. Now I want to allow them to just draw two cards for free. Got axes, need victims. <laughs> Time for the money makers. 
Okay, cool. For the last deck that we played, testing another version of Caretaker Atrocity. Yeah, Caretaker has been solution to some early games. Nice. Yeah, Caretaker... I think would work really well with that deck. So, good to hear. Glad to hear it's going well. Okay, you just jumped into the desk. Keep up, keep up. Gotta go with the flow. Yeah, that's a that's a good one to have. Why don't, why don't we just play Sprayfin? <laughs> that's a good one to have in our deck. So my Draven's at one out of two, right? Yeah. I think I still just want to wait on Shunpo. Reckoning. I could see them being... No. I see I could see them being a Ruination deck. I was hoping to get like that, um... I'm always up for a round or two. Red card? If I got that spinning axe, then you know I would I would have the rummage for like that second spinning axe and then this reckoning. What's up, Death Ray? I'm telling y'all, Death Ray is incredible. Surprise lethal? Big flex. Surprise lethal. That's awesome. Good job, puppy. Good job, puppy. Yeah, it was not... Yep, no one's prepared for the Shunpo. And then the the death ray, like that death ray top deck. Get rid of that blocker. Perfect. Yeah, I, I really like death ray. I think death ray could save a lot of things. I think I would... I think that's what I would do moving forward, though, is I think I would just play one Shunpo to death ray. Especially when we have this amount of card advantage, because that that one mana deal one, lots and lots of Zoe's running around. Um, but then also, you know, your aggro decks, and and then even that other deck with the the flight. Um, or yeah, that that fearsome deck's getting pretty popular. That Diana Nocturne fearsome, and they play the one mana four one fearsome. So Death Ray is pretty cool because not only is like the one mana one 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 good, but like I like I talked about, like two mana deal two and three mana deal three are really useful like that's a that's a really efficient way to kill champions like the three mana deal three and so on so i really like death ray so i think i would just play the one shunpo in here moving forward even though that shunpo turn right there was really cool but with all of our ways to draw cards and stuff uh, we should be able to find that shunpo and, and one shunpo should should kill them right or, or like you know come close it's not like we need a second so yeah stress testing was was awesome I like i like this deck this is a fun deck to play Lots of cool stuff going on. I really like the Flash of Brilliance. All right, so Assembly Bot, Plaza Guardian, Draven, Ballistic Bot. We're calling it Mecha Draven <laughs> with all these, you know, machines and Draven. Cool deck. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the gameplay. Hopefully y'all like the deck. Uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of it. Um, yeah, try it out with the two Death Rays. Really impressed with this card. Uh, try it out there. All right, but that's all I got here for Mecha Draven. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.